Hi everybody, Clint Lears, newhomesales.com. We are at the Jeff Shore Sales Leadership Conference. Are you enjoying this conference? Absolutely, are you? I am, but you should be because you're the mastermind. You're kind of like the Wizard of Oz uh, behind the scenes making this an outstanding event. You are the events manager. Are you totally stressed out right now? No, absolutely not. I think the hard part's over, so we're just having a good time now. We've had a huge attention. How many people do we have? 250 sales leaders from across North America. Um, everybody here is either a sales manager all the way up to owners and VPs of um, home builders and home building companies. So we're happy to have everyone here. So the reason why I'm having Ali, besides, uh, you know, you've been a wonderful host and it's been great getting to know you, is a lot of real estate companies, a lot of home builders are doing either a grand opening or a, an, an event. You are doing this seamlessly. It seems like everything's kind of like a well, uh, working clock if, if you will what are some of your what's your secret sauce what do you do to make events like this great um well we prepare um we think through every possible scenario and then we really think of it um through the eyes of our guests so, so one of the things that we teach a lot um with our clients is about experience and creating the home buying experience or creating an experience for your customers when they're purchasing a home from the moment that they walk in your sales office until you hand them those keys. Um, the entire the entire thing should really be about the experience and we, we try and carry that over to what we're doing, practice what we preach and create an, a fantastic experience for our guests from the moment that they check in until the moment that they head, up, head back home. That's awesome. We're going to make a great experience, but give me some specifics. I'm like, okay, we're going to do this, this, and this. So our number one um, priority is to be nice. And we love people, we love what we do, and we want everyone um, to just remember us as the nice folks. Um, there's not enough of that today in the world. And so that's our number one priority. Isn't there a book called like The Power of Nice or something like that? Possibly. And w no, tell me this, what is your background? How did you get into, so, uh, into doing events like this? Um, so I actually was an intern for Jeff when I was in college and when I graduated he gave me the privilege of working for him full time and I've just kind of evolved into this role of events manager. Um, we've launched several events, uh, training events that are open to the public, ticketed events just like the summit um, for sales pros, new sales leaders, and veterans. So. Um, yeah. So you've done a lot of these events. What's a mistake, and you've gone to events, what's a mistake that you think people make when they're creating an event? Um, not being flexible enough. I think that um, you really have to have the mindset that something is always going to go wrong, no matter what. Um, and as long as you're ready to adapt to that and to prepare um, for those mistakes to happen and fix them on the fly, then it's always important also to think about it from the guest's perspective, to keep your stress in check. Um, will the guests notice if this doesn't happen? Or will the guests notice if we have to scramble and make something work last minute? And if the answer is no, then I think that you're good to go. So great, great answer. A couple things I've noticed, um, like the app. Is that something new that you create? Because I've never done that before. Let's talk about the app and what, how you're using that technology uh, to make this a, a great event. Yeah, so we um, have had the app for the past couple of summits, past couple of years. Um, and the app is all about interaction. Um, communication with our guests, making sure that we tell them over and over again um, the, the ways that they can get the most out of this experience at the summit. Um, and then we also make it interactive. So we have games going on where folks are competing for prizes. Um, yeah, and it's just a really good way to keep everyone social, keep them engaged, um, and allow them to have the best experience possible by accessing information right on their phones. And even down to the food, something that I noticed this morning was a great breakfast, thank you. It says it's, you know, cage-free eggs, organic yogurt. Was there thought in planning or is that just something that the hotel here did? Yeah, so it is from the hotel, but it goes back to us really desiring to give a peak performance um, and a peak experience for our guests while they're here. And so we always try and choose venues that are really desirable to come to. Um, we want our guests to enjoy not only the time when they're in the ballroom, when they're in the expo center, um, but also just in general, enjoy their stay here with us. I think a lot of times um, people focus on how do we give the the customer, in, in, in this situation, I'm the customer, a great experience, but it seems like you're having a great experience, that the teams, everybody's kind of having a good experience. 
talk about that. Yeah, so um, we always say that our summits are like a family reunion. A lot of the folks that are here have been coming for you know all nine years that we've been hosting this event, and then some people are brand new this year. But our goal is that when everyone leaves, that they feel like family, that they feel like whenever they come back to a shore event, it's a big family reunion. Any last just tips just coming to your mind that you would say, oh yeah, you know, this is something. Maybe it's the gift, something, I don't know, anything. Um, I think that creating opportunities to network because there is nothing more powerful than the connections that you have, um, whether it be in in this industry or another industry. That's one thing that is true um, no matter what you're doing. And so I think for any any person, whether you're hosting an event or you're attending an event, I think it's really important to focus on those networking opportunities because you never know who you're going to meet. Really good point. I think sometimes everything is so tightly organized that they don't leave open space or white space for people to um, interact. You have so many interesting, like you said, leaders and um, thought leaders and you know uh, experts in their field, subject matter experts, that it's like, I almost want the conference to stop so I can talk more to the person I'm with. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Jeff starts out the session that way, right? He says, the, the star of the show is you, and the co-star is the person sitting next to you. And so we really build that into this event, um, that it's about the guests and it's about the people that are around you um, and learning from one another about what's working and what's not. Allie, thank you for being my guest on our program and it's uh, really cool. Uh, how do we connect with you? Um, Allie at jeffshore.com, A-L-I, and uh, that would be the best way. But thank you for being our guest, Quint. We appreciate having you here. And you've got some big programs coming up? We do. Yep. We've got, um, if you visit jeffshore.com backslash events, you'll be able to uh, see all of the events that we're offering around the country throughout the year. Allie Westbrook, the best in the business. Hey, thanks so much for joining us.